Hey there, I'm Aki and welcome back to another video. Today, I got a developer of the Subnautica, Gargantian, Leviathan mod dev team to tell me some stuff about the new updates. Just a quick reminder, this is all still work in progress and subject to change, so anything you see here might not be in the final version of the mod. But let's just get into it. So I'm here with Slendy, who's a developer on the Gargantian Leviathan mod, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the new updates. Yes, long story short, the team has been vigorously working on getting this out to you guys as best as possible. The issues is that there are numerous bugs that we have been encountering as a result of getting this out as quickly as possible. The main thing, though, that we are right now very proud of and have been working very, very hard on is the adult. We've shown you the juvenile. You've seen the juvenile in videos all over the place. But other than that, you guys really haven't seen anything else. You've just heard, ooh, big fish. <laughs> very big, scary fish. Let's see the big scary fish. I want my hands on the big scary fish. Well, as soon as we're done working and rigging this thing, getting everything that we need polished and bug free, we will be giving it to you to enjoy. Well, um, some of the things you've done is, for example, change the color. I think it looks pretty cool, but this isn't the final color, is it? No, 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 no. See, here, here, if we're, if we're going to go on this conversation, we're going to go on like a 10 minute tangent. Uh, it means I can put more ads on this, so. True. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't cancel me. Give me a, give me a color scheme. What color do you think would work? I would probably go for similar colors, so probably something like uh, ver variations of gray, variations of blue, maybe some purple in there, maybe some red. Okay. Now. You want to keep in mind here, you don't want everything to be a similar color. Because if it's a similar color, then you're going to not be able to see the distinguishing features on it the way that you need to. So there, there's that. Now, the color scheme itself isn't a bad color scheme. It's just that it will mainly blend in with the void. So when you're thinking of colors, think of colors that won't entirely blend. Or if you want it to blend, that's fine. You also have to have some contrasting colors. So the thing you guys mostly thought about was making sure you actually get to see the Leviathan when it's in the void and doesn't just blend in with the dark background. Yes. Okay, so something else you guys also did is give it some new awesome sounds. Yes, we have. We've been working around the clock with Simon, the original composer for Submarica or sound developer for Subnautica, and our good old teammate, Thomas, who has also been making sounds for us for some other features for the mod that I cannot say at this moment in time. Well, I've heard the sounds before. I think they're absolutely terrifying. So I guess good job on that. But well, these are the sounds for the Gargantian once it's finished. Um, next up, you guys have also told me that you wanted to add some other stuff to the mod instead of just having the Gargantian and the Juveniles. We're gonna have an entire storyline behind this. Why it exists, how it came back to haunt you and terrorize you in Planet 45456B. None of which I'm going to say at this moment in time, as I would rather you figure that out for yourself and enjoy the experience as a whole, which I think works much better. Something you said in the last recording, which I sadly screwed up, is that the Gargantians woke up after the Aurora crashed and exploded because, well, I mean, how can you not? And that they are now a danger to Ghost Leviathans. They're a danger to literally everything on this planet. Uh, mainly the Ghost Leviathans because they're following a similar path and coming out into the void 
as it is the most spacious for this creature, these creatures to grow. Um, so will they also actually in-game attack the ghost leviathans if they are near, or will they try to focus on the player? Um, at this moment in time, for some rhyme or reason, they like to just go exclusively for the ghosts the moment that they spawn in. <laughs> Deserved. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Granted, the it's a little difficult to get them off of the ghosts because the ghosts like to be ever so slightly faster. So it will be a, a game of cat and mouse until the ghost leviathan kind of just makes a wrong movement and then gets killed as a result. Okay, but in the final version it will try to attack the player mostly. Oh yes, 100%. In the final version we want to get rid of the ghost leviathans, uh, but that's probably not going to happen. Oh, okay. No more ghost leviathans in the void then. Talking about attacking the player, it will also attack the Cyclops, Seamoth, and Prawn suit. So, you have to have a way to defend yourself, right? Yes, you do. And the only way that you'll be able to defend yourself is with some brand new patented, quote-unquote, uh, equipment that Altera, quote-unquote, as well, made as a result of finding this creature within the depths of the void. Well, um, you also mentioned something about new decoys. Yes, we're going to be implementing a lot of new, again, that goes with the technology at the end of the day here, but this technology will mainly help you with defending yourself. So, new decoys for your Cyclops, and I assume also something for the Seamoth? Yes. Awesome, so Seamoth players don't get destroyed instantly. Talk about getting destroyed instantly. Will it swallow the whole Cyclops? Because I'm pretty sure it can. <laughs> no, because we're going to implement a secret mechanic that will allow you to defend yourself much more if you don't have any of the available equipment that we're implementing into this mod. If you don't have any equipment, there is something that you can do to defend yourself. What that something is, I'm going to have the players figure out. Interesting. Well, if you are already adding the Gargantia Leviathan and some variants of it in form of uh, juveniles around the world, will you also be adding some other creatures? Yes. That is going to be further down the pipeline for us. And at the same time, it is also going to be much more terrifying as a result. I don't want to just have these big, scary, long eel fish going all over the place. <laughs> we need more variations. You remember all the way back when Subnautica first came out, where there were so many concepts of fish and whatnot that people came up with out of the blue. Mm -hmm. There's even other mods that already exist at this point. I'm pretty sure Socks for the One, he got his hands on two creatures that were fan-made creations um, uh, named the Bloop Leviathan and the Blaza Leviathan. Yeah, I saw both of which, Both of which are very horrifying in their own and originally started off as concept art fan creations, really. So, what kind of creatures can we expect later on in the mod? Well, I mean, there are a couple of skeletons that still remain to be untouched. Ooh, sounds like we're getting the other Leviathans from the Lost River as well. Okay, so I think that's basically everything for the mod so far, except for something people keep pestering me about. Do you guys have an estimated release date? <laughs> yes. As soon as I finish animating, rigging, and dealing with all the other issues that are currently going on with this thing. Because I can't just say, yeah, I'll have it done in like a week's time. When I said that originally, that was a mistake. I regret saying that because in reality, there's much more work that needed to be done that wasn't able to be done in that small amount of time. Well, you heard it here first. It's done when it's done. Stop pestering the devs, please. <laughs> I know you guys want it. We know, we know, we all know. It is coming as fast as we can get it done. There's a lot of work that is being done, and there's a huge chunk of this mod that I am 
and we are intentionally keeping secret from even the YouTubers. Oh. For reasons. Well, now I'm scared. You should be. All right, so basically we will get some more features and some more stuff added to the mod. I also saw some interesting stuff I can't tell you guys about yet, but I'm pretty sure you like it. Let's just say Gargantians aren't always scary, but I think that's basically it. The Gargantuan's the most terrifying creature on the planet. I don't know what he's talking about. He must be crazy. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. But again, thank you so much for taking your time. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to see if I can answer them. If I can't, I'm just going to pester Slaney about it. And yeah, that's basically it. Give us some color variations if you want some. We have a solid idea of two for now for the transparent and for the solid. But if you guys come up with something that genuinely sparks our interest, we will 100% consider it. Well, you heard it here first, guys. If you want some interesting colors for the Gargantian Leviathan, leave them in the comments down below and maybe you'll inspire the devs. Huge shout out to my Aki Cold leaders, Blink, Ripe Cucumber, Tony House, and Wynok. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoy your special perks. But for now, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!